down for all this wicked place. But first and foremost, we give all praise, our honor, and say Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Next, we want to give double honors unto the prophets of the Great Millstone, the ones that have taught us 100% truth, according to the Bible, and who will. This is Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus said Yahweh power unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land that's right man we, we gotta we get into a time where where things things is, is, is speedily you know things is really speedily wrapping up in this place man and ain't too much uh new things is coming out this place man at all man but, but destruction and the, the scripture says that the end is to come the end is to come is damn you know damn white man kingdom man this uh this, this land of confusion you know it says, Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. So, so during this process, Lord, Lord Almighty Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he said he's going he's gonna, he's gonna to send his anger upon those who didn't hearken to the voice, then, then, then come in. Uh, uh, you know, stretch out their hand when he stretched out his hand toward them, man. The Lord said he's gonna come, come with some righteous hand. Verse 4 And my eyes shall not speak, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So, for, for those who didn't hearken and then, you know, seek the Lord, the Lord said, It ain't, ain't gonna be no sorrow for you, man, for, for when this judgment comes to you, man. Yeah. And, and then in that time, you will still know that who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is because all the times that you had, uh, anybody got that uh, scripture where it says, you know, death by pain? Uh, but yeah, so, uh, so, so, the Lord saying, man, because you've been hearken now, when, when these times come, it's not, not going to be any sorrow for you, you know, it's not going to be any mercy or, or any of those things. But, but what's going to happen right now? Second Ezra chapter nine verse twelve. The same must know no, it. Not it's not it's not Second Ezra chapter nine verse nine. Then shall they be pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that so, okay. so so Lord say I'm gonna be in a pitiful case, man. Those who abuse the ways. And what, and what ways is that, man? Understanding the, this truth, of knowledge, and wisdom that the Lord has given us, to us, man not hearkening to the uh, voice of the prophets, not, you know, keeping the holy days and, and following into the, the path of our custom and not the, the custom of this heathen, man. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. The Lord, the Lord say y'all gonna be in, in torment, man. There's gonna be much, much tribulation and, and much anguish coming towards those who, who not hearkening to the voice of the Lord, man. Who's, who's not doing the work. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have broke my law while they had yet liberty 
and when as yet place of religion has opened unto them. Understand God, but despise them. That's right, man. The Lord gave you opportunity after opportunity. Mercy after mercy, you know, gave you much benefit in this place, you know, uh, Babylon, but you still you park it. And this is to the, 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 the Israelites, man. This is not to any other, other nations, man. You know, this is y'all. This is y'all. You know, man, you to you. To you. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, man. When y'all, when y'all gonna quit, man? The Lord didn't give y'all everything y'all need, but y'all still not hearkening to the, to the voice of the Lord. So this is gonna happen, man. The same must know it after death by pain. So y'all gonna understand it when all these things come come upon, and, and, and you know, famines. You ain't got nothing to eat. Your stomach touching your back. When it's uproar in the people, you know, when when all these all these uh beginnings of sorrows begin to begin to come. Gonna then understand it, you know, but you're gonna understand it by death by pain. You're gonna understand who Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is, and who's the ruler of this place, right? This damn devil that you guys are so hearkening to, man. This Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20, it says, Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets, she cried in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones. Where ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you, because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded, but ye have set it not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity, I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. All right. So I get, but like, yeah, man, so, so when these things begin to jump off at a, at a uh, you know, early pace, man, you know, it's going to be people actually trying to go out and, and, and then seek the Lord. But that time going to be up, man, because the Lord gave you opportunity after opportunity, man. So, uh, so watch the whole time in this, in this captivity. You see, you see, you see. This is a quick one. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. All right, man. Look, look, Israel, you got to put away your wickedness now, man. Ain't no, ain't no other time to do it but now, man. While, while the Lord still has some type of mercy on you, man. If you still to be able to watch these videos and hearken and understand the things that, you know, prophets speaking, man, listen, turn away. Because sooner or later, man, hey, it's going to be, it's going to be your time going to be up, man. You know? It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. That's right, man. We went away from the Heavenly Father, man. You know? We we turned away from our customs, man. So the same way you, you did that, you, the same way you go harder. Go harder than you, you ever done before because this is, hey, this is the time to, to, to show your worth, man. Show where you stand, show where you believe, man. This is the time to, hey, work out your salvation. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no life in this place, man. As much as many, many of our people want to make you know, life and believe in uh, the forces of this place, is any, any, you know, any benefit for us, but this is temple, man. It's all going to get washed away. That's a snap. The Lord, gonna, the Lord is in control of all things. As they say in uh, Proverbs uh, 16, roughly paraphrasing. You gotta keep keep in mind, man. These devils ain't in control. The Lord is in control of these devils that you think in control of you. But you still you still not gonna hearken to the voice of the Lord, man, and to the prophets, man. That who the Lord will give His word to. This Sirach chapter five and verse seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance that's right man you got to continue to feed that spirit man continue to continue to be on it every day because the more the more you do so 
is the more you're gonna you're gonna get more in tune and be more beneficial towards yourself. Your spirit gonna rise, man. The, the Lord gonna gonna find favor in you, Lord willing. You know, and that's what that's what you want. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of I know thy works. I know thy works, but thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You know. So it's like you know, you want to you want to stay on fire. You don't want to be out, off balance. You right. know, sitting there be, being being not not putting in no work, not staying. Not stand in the in the spirit as much as as much as you know when you you feel like you want to listen to some some podcast. No, throw throw on, throw on the apostles, man. Throw you know listen. Keep that in your mind because these are the times where you don't want to just sit there and not and, you know and, and not be motivated to to stay in the spirit and, and stay studied up and stay you know among uh, you know amongst this wisdom, man. Because you know the Lord will spill you out. Right? You know it'll be it's scary when you when you find you're not you're not thinking in the spirit it's scary when you find you're not even you, you went a whole day and didn't even think about this stuff that's that's con that's when you should be scared man that's when you should be be thinking like hey man is the lord dealing with me you know, i'm gonna wake up and, and, and seek the lord man that's what, that's what everybody should be doing waking up seeking the lord man no matter the other things that we have going on in this world you know we gotta we gotta put on put away those things man, and seek what matters first because this is what's in control of my life now this is what's controlling your life now. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. That's right, man. And, and, and when you walking past the prophets on the highways and byways, speaking, speaking to uh, Jake, you know, if you see a name on his 12, 12 tribe chart, you, you hearken to the voice, man. Hearken to the, the, the scriptures, man, the videos, all the, all the prophecies and all of the, the help. Cause this is much help towards you, you know. Every brother out here working out their own salvation, man. Every brother out here hoping, you know, Lord, whether we we doing this doing this work, we know we doing this work, and it's not gonna be in vain. We just here to shoot the whole full leg, man. Wrap this thing up quicker, man. Cause we tired of being here. This is on Philippians two and twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye always obey, not as in my presence only. But, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trouble. You're called to be working out your salvation with fear and trouble. And it said much more in the absence. That's right. You know, much more in the absence, man. You know, before, you know, Yahweh shot return, you know, and said destruction to this place, man. We we need to be seeking seeking the Lord without without actually seeing, you know, the, the, the works, you know. We gotta seek the Lord because this is, hey, this is the most, this is the righteous thing to do. This Matthew chapter five and verse three, it says, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled." You see, and that's the um, that's the spirit we must be into, you know, and we must be uh, hastening the day of the Lord, hastening that. Yeah, how wish I it comes to that healing his wings and judge this place, man. That's what our attention, that's what our affection, that's what our focus is on. Hey, the prophecies of the Lord, the will of the Lord being established. You know? That's right, man. And then we gotta continue to do that into the into those prophecies of the field, into that, that will is fulfilled, man. You know? And, and we wanna make sure during that day that we can say we did everything that we could. Because, because if not, then you know what? What's your point, man? What's your point of even, even being in this? If you're not gonna go hard, man. To be with many stripes. That is you not to know the will of the Lord that's have known it, you know, and then put forth your best foot. And Ecclesiastes say, whatsoever thy hand finds to do, do it all thy might. Hey, we've been called to a, a, a high office, man. You know, we got a, oh, hey, hey, it says, it remain a rest for the people of God. Let us therefore labor to enter into that rest. You know? Right. Hey, the glory of the young man is the mm -hmm. This is, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we all must appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach 
that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. All right. Every, every, we, every, everybody got a judgment, man. You know, everything that you're doing on this side, man, the Lord, the Lord, hey, it's, being, it's being accounted for. Whether you believe it or not, everything is done in secret, every, every, every wicked thought, every, everything that you're doing, man. The Lord is, the angels is keeping document of this. The Lord is a, is a reward for everything. Right. right. And the next verse on there, I say, you want to tell the Lord, all the terror that the Lord got to bring down on this place, man. If you truly want to get right, now is the time. Uh, all right? Not when everything... This is before everything jumps off, man. Not when you see martial law uh, marching down the street. Not when there's no fools on the shelves. You do it now, before you know, before the storm, man. That's what you, you gotta. That's how people do. We 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 wait till it's too late and think it's okay. There is a such thing as being too late, and it's that called that for a reason. You know, you don't want to wait until it's too late, man. Because that's not sincere. Man. You ain't, ain't truly for the Lord. You want to wait, late to come. Talking to the voice of the Lord after you see all these things is coming upon. You got it? Romans chapter 12, verse 11. Not slothful in business. Preach. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Be kindly of affection one to another with brotherly love in honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. So it's preferring, that right? I means needing one another. That's, right. That's what preferring means to need. So we out here needing each other right? to the, to, to the uh, promise Lord. Right. We're trying to get the hell up out of here. We ain't trying to make a community, community, community influence. We ain't trying, and, and they'll show we can't be strong for a You gotta be about your business. You gotta be about your job, man. Uh, the devil ain't slow for the wickedness he pursue. You know? That would get very crafty and, and very uh, determined to do the things that you know he, he, he set out to do, man. So the spirit of the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is placed on him about that, but the same as the spirit was placed in you to understand this wisdom, man. That's why you, you gotta go hard. You know, that's speaking for, for myself too, and any brother that's going through any, you know, I ain't gonna say doubts, but like, you know, keep faith, man. You gotta gotta keep your faith up, man, because. This is like, like brothers always say, man, this is a spiritual war, you know? You don't, you don't really notice the things that be going on until, you know, you sometimes get into situations or to another brother, you know, bring it to you. That's why you gotta, you know, at the uh, beginning of that scripture say, you know, pretty much work out brotherly love, man. We, we hear build each other up. This is, this is what this uh for, man. Scripture say, two better than one, you know? This dog 38 degree. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I demand of thee, and answer thou me. Right, man. You gotta, you gotta, hey, gird up, gird up your loins, man. You, 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 you a fucking man. You, you supposed to move as a fucking man. And like, as this brother told me long ago, man, man get shit done. And we men of the Lord, man, so we definitely gotta get this shit done. You know? Ain't no, ain't no, this man, ain't no, uh, the scripture says, this man find us an excuse. Ain't no excuse for the shit that you need to be getting done, not getting done. It's simple, man. We, we too, we too into, uh, intermingle with, with the things of our flesh. You gotta let go of that, that fleshly manner. That shit gonna get you killed, man. Second Hebrews chapter 14, verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Uh. Cast away the burdens of men. Put off now the weak nature. That's right, man. Brothers knowing what's going through. It's not even about brothers knowing what uh, you be going through. The Lord knows what you're going through, man. And he's in control of your situation. So hearken it to him because that's that's the only way you're going to get any type of help. That's the way you're going to get any type of relief or benefit. Even though we ain't going to never get no rest in this place, that's why I got to get destroyed. But the Lord, he still brings some facade, man. Some mercy upon you, man. And you hearken to the voice and doing, and doing the work, doing the will of the Lord, man. Manifesting this, uh, the ending to this place, man. Being a voice. The, the true voice, not a little dirty voice. Uh, the big shit, man. No, that's just not the real voice. This is the real 
voice right here, man. The voice of the Lord. Okay? The how am I speaking out spot and shot with all these men speaking these words unto you? Like it said, on uh, Amos 27, surely the Lord thy God will do nothing but reveal of his secrets into his service to God. That's what we have to Back up how we know voice of the Lord. It's uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in the paper, for they are faithful and true. The Lord has gave us, you know, this doctrine, you know, for us to, to, to reveal to reveal the secrets into those the, the chosen ones, man. The hopeful elect, man, to the, the children of Israel, man, our people. You know, because these devils is gonna, gonna give you false philosophies, man. They, they ain't here to help you at all. They don't care for your well-being for real. It's all this is business to these to these devils, man. These devils, these other nations ain't gonna never, they don't never care. And our people, they love they love that other nations more than they love our own, they, your own nation, man. Talk me to you feel me? They, these philosophies if, if they they legit. Things. We gotta continue to prove our things into the Lord and into ourselves, man. It was on First Peter, chapter five, verse two. It says, "Feed the flock of Yahweh, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, uh -huh. not for filthy loose, but of ready mind." You know, you you want to be able to continue to a hey, bring forth edification to, to the flock, man. That's that's how you feed the flock, man. Bring, bring forth much wisdom, man. Understand and help help people who it ain't so easy to be uh, breaking down to, you know, get get the get the understanding, you know? Now, this is Psalm chapter 82 and verse uh three. It says, Defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. And how do we do so? By preaching this word. That's the labor of love, man. Hey, the brother read in that second Andrew 15. It says, uh, 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 I will put in my put, put in your, your mouth the words of prophecy. Hey, this is the warning, the, ad, the uh, admonition from the Heavenly Father. See, the men of the Lord are set up to tell you what's going to happen. Hey, hey, the devil, the, the enemy, the self-proclaimed white man of these other nations. Hey, hey him chief, he's going to come against you. Uh, he, 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 he goes like he knows the right. Hey, he's coming with his karagma, his M to the O to the T to the B. Hey, hey, come back to the Lord. You see? He coming. He coming with that with with his sword, man. That the Lord blessed him with. You know, that the, that destruction, man. And you know, scripture say, uh, "Though hand join in hand, the wicked should, shall not be uh, unpunished." Uh, roughly paraphrasing. So you gonna you want to be you want to be punished with the wicked? Cause they ain't got no they ain't got no judgment as you know the ones we set out to hope to have, man. Eternal life. We don't. We ain't never gonna die again, man. Spiritual power, man. Not just, not, not even just to be oppressed, man. We gonna be in peace, you know. But our people don't don't believe in that. They think you gotta find peace within this this place, man. And, and it's this, hey, scripture say, um, uh, I, uh, I returned under the sun and seen that all things are as a vanity and vexation of the spirit. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All this is, is just useless, man. But it's, it's useless, but it's a test from your Yahweh Shem Yahweh to see who's the faithful, man. Who's the diligent, and who truly seeks the Lord, man. Who truly loves the Lord, man. Who loves his way, because that's all it's about at the end of the day, man. Possibly doing, doing the work. It's about just doing the work. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. Because, you know, come on. That's why we say we have war, we put up. You know, Boots on the ground. We're we're out here. We're out here, diligent. You know, uh, deal, dealing with the weather, all that stuff. Putting our, our, our bodies in living, living sacrifice. You know, and we're work at work. And Yahweh said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the king, for the kingdom of of God. So it's like we we're showing ourselves that we're we're showing the Lord that we're fit. You know what I'm saying? We're fit for this, and we're and we're, we're 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 showing that we can endure. And we can be faithful. We can stay consistent. All right, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
as it was when you broke the first two. Luke chapter 9, verse 59. If you like to bear with me. Uh, and he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me. First, he go and bury my father. Yahweh I said unto him, Let the dead bury the dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of Yahweh. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. salvation utilizing this grace period nothing else matters let the bit let the dead bury the dead let them they, 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 they ain't got to say bye to no one no farewells or you or the lord's going to farewell you right man. if you don't uh i do believe uh it's a scripture that said don't even lift up a, a cross for the for these, for these people man no no uh, yeah, this is uh to back you up it's uh mark 1 and 16 now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And that's what we do, we fishers of men, we fishers of men. Right. Verse 18, and straight away they forsook their nets and followed them. So that, that, was a, that was a good occupation back then. They just dropped everything they, they followed them. All right, you read another account. They was working for their father. They hired somebody else to go work for their father. They weren't straight with them. Right. Well, that's what matters first, man. You got to seek the kingdom first, man. You know, all these things that are in this world, man, like, you know, it's what you say. It's, it's, it's temporal, man. It, it's, no, it's no benefit to us. But having the benefit of your house, watching your shot, your favorite, man, it, it's the best thing you could ever have. Oh, do to your man. Huh. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 16. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear them. Ah, so when these things is, is come to pass, all of you know, prophecies that set on the on the wicked man and, and set on this place, man. Those who can uh hearken to the voice of the Lord, man, the Lord said don't don't cry for these people. Yeah. Don't don't do any of that because they they have the opportunity to turn away from their wickedness, man. But they did it, yep. and, and hey, that's what they wanted their judgment to be. That's yep. what their judgment gonna be, man. That Proverbs the first chapter say you're gonna eat the fruit of your own doings. Right. And the angel told Ezra, he said, for the empty are for the empty, and for the full are the full. These people are empty vessels. It says, uh, whosoever trusts in uh, vanity, vanity shall be his recompense. And hey, you didn't want to come back to the Lord. You want to trust in Esau, he was a self-proclaimed white man, a broken foot out of joint, a uh, tooth out of a broken tooth. Well, then guess what? You're going to fail right along with him. Right, see? We're here to make our body a living sacrifice, man. We ain't here to find no comfort nor, you know, build no, build no foundation in this place, man. We're looking for this place to be destroyed. Yep. For, for the reason of this place cannot be healed, man. It's, it's plagued with wickedness, man. It's everywhere. Everywhere you go. You can't go nowhere in this world. And there's not going to be any, any wickedness. In, 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 in high places right now, you know? Taking control of everything, man. John chapter 15, verse 22. If had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. That's right, man. So, so the Lord brought, brought prophets out to, you know, do, do the works of revealing most of you, you know, is the last cloak, man. Tell you when come doing wrong. If he didn't put the spirit on us to 
edify you on, on the things you should not be doing and, and should be doing, you know, then you'll be, you, it, it wouldn't be in your fault. But the Lord, he, he revealed in the cloak on, on, on y'all and that, man. This Isaiah 52 and verse uh, 6, it says, Therefore my people shall know my name, therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publish, publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth, thy watchmen shall lift up thy voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see out of eye when Yahweh shall bring again Zion. Right. The, Lord, the Lord is going to show you who he is. He's, he's going to show you who you is in through his works. Uh, through his men, his prophets, through his mouth speech. God. Uh, when you go into the word prophet, I believe it's uh, Nabala. Nabala, but it means a, a spokesperson, a, a prophet. And that's what we are for, for the Heavenly Father, man. We are his ambassadors down here on the earth. Herald into the kingdom, heralding the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So who the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American? This is uh, Ezekiel two and three, and he said unto me, Son of man, I I send to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. Right. We ain't doing this of our own. We ain't just come out here and put some garments on, read out the scripture. No, this is the will of the heavenly Father being done. Huh. It says uh, in Philippians, um, it's an evident token of their destruction. Roughly paraphrasing, seeing a prophets, but for those that believe, it's a sign of salvation. Hey, Jeremiah said, but the, kings, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied against many countries and kingdoms, roughly paraphrasing, prophesying of evil. That's right. Guess what? We those men that you see in the movies that's that's telling you what's going to happen in the movie, the end. Yes. And that's what we come out here to say, the, uh, hey, hey, the good titles. Hey, the Lord's going to wipe away our sorrow. He's going to come and deliver us out of captivity and judge this place. Uh -huh. so, we give you the good news, man. Says, uh, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even to this very day. For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Yep. And that's what we come out here. Thus saith Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord destined this place to, to uh, condemnation. Perdition, destruction. This place has an end. And hey, all you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, and speckled birds, you gonna burn here with it. Say if you repent, come back to the Father. Right. Right. But even even after all these all the works that you know that the elders and apostles and you know prophets been doing for many years our people still not gonna turn away you know our, our people still gonna be wicked man you know and it's overall that's overall the will of uh yahweh so what 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 side you will hope to be man that's what it's about man romans chapter 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that is now that now it is high time to wake to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we believe that's right man we're getting closer and closer to the end of this thing Israel. and you know and many people might hear here we're getting close to the end of this thing and not really fully understand what that mean man we can we get close to to the destruction of this place man T to death chaos any 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 nightmare you can imagine the lord is gonna bring it to you man for those who's not who are hearkening to the voice of the Lord and to the prophets, man. You go to work and do what the fuck you're supposed to do. When you hear this truth, you need to do what the fuck you're supposed to do, man. It's that simple. That's right. You see all these things happening, even average people seeing like just numerous crises happening. Like that, that, that that's that's not that's not normal. That's and then, and then it, it aligns with what the book says, the prophecies in the book says, you know. You got people no, noticing this stuff, man. And you know they're watching the prophets, man. I, I, you know they're watching. They're watching, you know, Great Millstone, man. 
and then implementing their, you know, their talking points and stuff like that, man. This stuff is happening. All this stuff is happening, and, and, and it shows that it's the end. Uh -huh. All these societies that had happened in years before, this happened before it all ended. These things happened before it all ended. It never fails. It's not going to be something new like it's going to prevail. It never fails. When this type of stuff happens, that's how you know this kingdom is falling. It's time for you to get right. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied in both of these many countries and against great people of war and of evil and of pestilence. So yeah, like you said, man, these things is coming out. It's being said through the spirit of your but this is prophesied back then, okay. that this place was going to be destroyed. During the time of Noah, he kept telling them, letting them know, man, hey, this place is about to go down. It's going to flood. They didn't believe it. It never rained before. But then it ended up raining, and them people flooded, and they died. That's right. So this is the same things that's going to happen. Like we're telling these people, America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. And, and it's going to get burnt up. And so -called, these so-called white people, these Edomites, are going into slavery. Right. Thus said the Bible. Whether these people want to believe it or not, man. Hey, we're going to keep telling you what it is, man. It, it don't matter if it, if, if it seems old to you. We're telling you that the MOTB is coming, which is the mark of the beast, the microchip, that they're about to put in people. The dollar is about to crash. That's going to be the new currency. And if you take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. That's right. We telling you what we ain't we ain't gonna tell you what's pleasant to the ears like these churches, man. You gotta you gotta understand, man, that, that shit is no game towards you, man. You trying to you trying to save a fucking life out here, man. Hey, this real love. Huh? This is this is the actual love, man. And I know you me more benefits and trust you know that shit might be a defense. Maybe you may receive things in this world, but that's all through will of your house washing out shot, man. You make a friend, you make a poor, man. You gotta understand that. Lord, fear me, he's the mediator of all this shit, man. We we can't, everything goes through your house shot and through your house shot to your house. We have to give all praise and all honor to the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly, to our Heavenly Brother, man. Because, hey, man, we ain't, we, 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 we went off. We went lost down here, man. We turned away from the righteous customs, man, and, and followed after the heathen and the wicked. This is, um, uh... Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. The Lord, it's a lot of with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Lord allow us to have, for us to not be, be, be feeding the feeding the sheep, feeding the flock, man, and, and, and to make the Lord willing, help them turn away from their wickedness, man. That that same wicked man, that bad, that blood of the man, man, because you have the opportunity to, to save a life. You have the opportunity to help a brother make change, and you didn't. That's right. That's right. It's so Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. It says, Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. It says, But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. All right. All right. Like the brother said, we believe in the saving of the souls, man. All right. Like the brother said, we are trying to save a life. We're trying to willingly elect, man. The ones are, uh, that, that uh, got the characteristics, all right, if this, if this sup with your spirit, all right, we're here to will you win through the spirit, man. We are the fishers, man. You know, will you back into repentance, all right, to come back to your house by Shimei Awashah before he destroyed this place, man. You know? We're just doing, we just doing the will and the work of your house by man. That's what we're doing. We're doing our job, man. And just, and just hoping that the Lord through that we, we get some mercy. Because things just come to this place, man, you know, hey, scripture say our, 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 so like our sins is a uh, future. Uh, it's 50 rags, uh, roughly paraphrasing. But man, we, we know some things that's uh, capable of uh, being, being, you know, yeah. put to death, man. You know, we, we, ain't no, we ain't no saints. We ain't no, you feel me? We, just we turned away from the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Awashah, man. And hope we could continue to dwell and, and endure through this, into this over with, man. Yeah. Lord, 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 uh, 
connected, no gal. This uh, verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So that, that, that's what we uh, 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 are supposed to do, man. Warn our people. Whether they, whether they get it, whether they repent or not. If they don't repent, that's on them. But if we go out here, we got this knowledge, don't teach The blood is on our hands, man. Wow. Because why would we do that? Because of our Lord Almighty. Father, he told us to, man. The, the Lord told us, hey, in that order, you know, we here to do things in order. You know? I got a, a quick one. This is Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the uh, words which the Lord the Helper speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord the Helper, learn not the way of the heathens, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them. Like you were saying. A lot of our people, man, they follow in the ways of the heathen. Yahweh Bashim Abshah told them a long time ago, don't follow this way, stay away from me, stay in your custom, don't do what these people do. And, right. and our people kept seeing it, like, oh my God, getting all antsy and thinking like, damn, they look nice. They, they were so curious, curious George ass. Yeah, like cat curious, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why scripture say, uh, uh, envy not the oppressor, and shoot true none his way. Yeah, kind. And then look what happened, man. Our people became the low, the lowest people on the planet now. You know? Because now, now look at us. A lot of our people are worshiping the signs of heaven, worshiping false gods. They into all of this and that. They, they ain't coming back to the true uh, custom of the scriptures. They don't even have understanding of the scriptures. Right. A lot of them think this is written by our so-called white men. But it's not. This is our custom. This is our book. This is our heritage. And you are you and first of all the scripture says, What have ye to declare my statutes? This white way we're gonna be in their damn hands. Right, right. Yeah. And they touching our scripture. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, sure, this rich by so called white man. We actually uh the doors up of the damn So he's gonna write his own brother. He's trying to run from that shit. So you think he's gonna write the book saying he's gonna go into slavery? No. And then, then too, y'all, white man wrote this. Like, like Brother Dallas said, what man have wrote this? What man wrote this? What y'all go to college with? Reading all these stupid ass books and believing that shit, it will come out of scripture. And you know, all that. Somebody wrote it, I ain't gonna believe it. Now you so called just, uh, I'm anti, you know, yeah. I don't, I don't read, really, I don't do the do a man, I don't do man made stuff. You yeah, know man, what I'm saying? You might as well don't read. Right. You might as well don't, don't do any math. Nothing, because you learn everything from a man, regardless, man, regardless of what the hell it is. You niggas just don't want to follow the scriptures. Y'all want to follow y'all by shooting out shot. Yeah. That's why the niggas going to die, man. Yeah, right. Fuck you niggas, man. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's just a, uh, a weak excuse yeah, not to follow the Lord. That's all it is, man. <laughs> Hypocrisy, man. But like I said, any other goddamn book you follow on that shit to the I'm not scripture. Oh, white man wrote that dick. Jiggin had a 48 long power, damn You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, 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 he knows 48 long power, damn pack Robert Green, which is a Edomite, got a, 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 a small hat at that, look at it. You know what I'm saying? Really, um, read the scriptures, like different prophets, the Lord's working on the minds of these men. The, the right these scriptures, the inspiration. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's, it's written about men, but it's authorized by the Messiah. The Lord uh, tells the names to put the spirit on his mental witness. Yeah. Uh, read 
him in a holy mount and that's the account you see these words are faithful and true it says we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts and Isaiah 34 and 16 says seek ye out the book of the Lord and read none shall want her mate for my mouth I have commanded and his spirit I have gathered gathered it roughly paraphrasing but hey none of these are gonna fail why? Because this, hey, this is what the Heavenly Father has ordained. This is the will of the Heavenly Father. It says, verse 20, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. You see? So this ain't no book that's of men. No, these were holy men ordained by Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai set apart and inspired to write these words, which is the will, which is the warning of the Heavenly Father, man. All that other, all that other shit, all that, all them other writings is bullshit, man. You know, and, for, and for those who, who believe in what they believe, the scriptures say the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So let them go in that path of believing that, you know, oh, it, it, it's, it's game made, it, 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 you know, some type of BS or whatever the fuck they believe. I really don't care, you know? We yeah. understand through the spirit of y'all watching y'all shot what the truth is, man. What the will of the Lord is, man. No concern the Lord. That's, that's all you care about. But you know what? The Lord is fair enough to give them the warning anyway. So they don't have no excuses when the judgment comes. Nah. All right? So the Lord knows the joy and after repent. But the Lord lets you hear it anyway. So you have, so now you can be justified for jacking your ass up for uh, rejecting. Nah, and, that's, and that's sufficient. Because that, that's official. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's just, even with the opportunity when the Lord know you're not even going to park it, man. He still give you, hey, look, you, can't, you ain't got no excuse. You ain't got no excuse whatsoever in doing the time of... So like, let me say this here. Sarah L., don't talk for man is talking. Continue listening, and hey, we happy you showing love. But hey, man, it's just rude speech. First of all, cursing is sending a curse on somebody and saying they hope they die, man. This, this continue this watching and paying attention to what's the man of the Lord is saying, man. Uh, we the teachers. You know what? Now we ain't we ain't trying to belittle you. This hey man. Yeah. Just so, hey, man, stop that. It's a lot another thing, man. You if you listening, you, you ain't even getting the point of what we're talking about. Yeah. You worry about some some profane words. Yeah, what's it's not, say it's do I be rude to speech, not knowledge. Yeah. yeah. It's profane, that's 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 anything going against the law. Outside the temple. Outside the temple. You know, so you know, we when we get in the spirit, we speak on what we speak on. But it's like you know, if, it, it's, if it, it's up to the Lord to, to give you that grip and that understanding. So I mean, it, it's you know, it's it's really much. It, we 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 fish into the men. And it's really out out of out of out of our hands once we give you the message. If you if, it, if you grip it, if you grip it, if, if, it, if, it, if it falls into your spirit, then it, it, all praise. But if it doesn't, move on right along, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we we got work to do. You know. Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How, how can a man then understand his own way? You know? So it's like the Lord, the, the Lord is putting people in trick bags, you know. The Lord, the Lord causes people to come in and, 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 and focus on other things. So so you don't get the message. Because cause, cause, cause it's, it's gonna be a time of judgment that's right around the corner, man. You know what I'm saying? A time of judgment is like tomorrow, you know, today, later on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, if you don't get the message and get yourself together, man, it's it's it's, it's man, it's, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be detrimental, man. That's right. And, and another thing, Satan Satan's out here to look to sift you, you know, to, to get you to be get you off track, get you, get you off track to not be parking into the thing that will be you know, the main point of it. Man. Got you got you looking into oh, they get cursed a lot, and that man, that ain't the point. Hey, don't let a uh, rough rough speaking uh, make uh, cause you to stumble. Here it is, you know, we won't give you, here it is, we warn you, but because we use that harsh language, you don't want to listen. All right, we'll turn on Jesse uh, uh, Osteen or one of them niggas and get sent off into a ditch. Yeah. 
Right. And that's, that's the scripture of they, 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 they want to hear sweet oh, things, exactly. smooth things. That's how the that, 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 damn devil talk, man. You know? Sweet, sweet, man. We ain't even telling you no sauce, sauce, no sauce, nothing, man. The scripture says, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. Man, we're mad out here, man. You know, we're tired of this shit. Brothers got to go back to work and slave. You know, while these devils, they they, they, they eating off, off, off of our territory. You know what I'm saying? Having fun and stuff like that. But that's, that's prophecy too. Rejoice, you know? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, we're, 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 not, we're, we're, not in the, we're not in the spirit of mirth, you know? Right. We're angry, so you know, you know, we 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 are gonna be passionate when we speak this truth because we really believe in this, man. This is something we really believe, man. You know. Right, this is an account of Nehemiah. It's Nehemiah 20, uh, 13 to 25. And it says, And I contended with them, and I cursed them, and I smoked certain of them, yep. and I plucked off the hair, yep. and made them swear by Yahweh, saying, You should not give your daughters unto their sons nor take their daughters into your sons or, or for yourselves. Hey, and that's a prophet in the Bible. Hey, Yahweh Shah, he was coming through upbraiding the people, flipping, flipping tables over. Hey, hey, if you offended by the men of the Lord now, hey, you wouldn't be able to stand before the Lord back then. Right. Hey, the prophets, they weren't no smooth, suit, booty face guys. Come, no, come. these were rough men bringing you the word. Right. Either you listen and repent and receive, or you get offended and burn. Right. Hey, hey, me and my, he said, I can take hey, hey, it. I smoked him, so he killed him. Killing this woman's ass, man. He's fucking them up, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. putting them down. Yeah. I'm putting them down. Yeah. It's uh, Ephesians smoke, chapter 6, smoke, verse 20. Smoke, it's like it's two different stories. Just, just beat their ass. Yeah, they just beat their ass. They don't kill me. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Ephesians, <laughs> Ephesians 6 and 20, and it says, For which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. All right, and that's what we're doing. We're speaking boldly, man. Isaiah 58 say cry loud spare not man. All right, so hey, we speaking. Hey, hey, we're, we're speaking the same thing. Hey, if the house I was on the scene, he wouldn't be speaking. We're speaking for the Lord right now, man. What you think we supposed to be all soft with you and shit, man? Speaking in truth. Man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when your house I hit the scene, he gonna be fucking you people up, man. Uh, ain't gonna be no more talking. Ain't no, ain't gonna be no hugs. You know what I'm saying? You worry about some westernized words and all that bullshit, man. We ain't even supposed to be speaking this way. But again, another thing. You a woman, you shouldn't even be saying that. Just listen. Uh, the Lord said he suffered not a woman to teach, nor did he serve authority over the man, but to be in silence. Uh, to be in silence. Just be quiet and listen. Continue listening while we delivering this message. And so, first, first Timothy chapter 2, verse 11, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor serve authority over a man, but to be a silent. Right, you need to come check the problem. Just listen, that's all. You ain't got to live a Lord got it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't touch the power anything. My suggestion is to fast and pray because, you know, you're out of line. Yeah. Fast and pray, you're out of line, man. You know, you sit there and try to regulate it. You know, Finally said it great to you, man. They got pedal their way around Look. the goddamn city. Oh, it's hot as hell, man. It's 80 degrees. You think I'm gonna even be on that anyway? That's how you know that stuff about finally, man. And it's shit slow as hell. I see if it was a little faster, you could get some air blowing on you or something. Somebody was driving their form, they sitting there pedaling and shit with they on right now. Yeah, oh, man. Come on, man. That's some simple shit right I there. I remember watching the lesson with uh, uh, the brother in South Carolina, the elder in South Carolina, and, 
Yeah, and you know, when, he, when they always get in his camera, he's like, man, I like, go ahead, go say what you say. It's like when, when, when you when you when you allow them to get on camera, they expect you to be like, no, get out of my camera. But when you allow them, that's when they stop. And they want to they want to hide and stuff like that. Go ahead, put their folly on display. Then they then they start feeling the shame because they thinking that we uh they, they they thinking we're gonna be mad or something like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, man, we ain't, look, man, that's a hey, get that um limitation four twenty one. Cause hey, go ahead, man, read that, man. Cause you do eat a mice, man. You so called white man. Y'all gonna die here, man. That's right. Straight up, man. Let me take you. says the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and in due time he will sell over one that is profitable. Hey, he saw Edom as the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. And uh -huh. these the last the last days of the, the self-proclaimed white man in his kingdom, man. And that's the best that they can do. You know? Right. Exactly, man. Do all the coke, do all the opioids, all the drugs that you want to do. Just live it up. Uh -huh. Match y'all um, bank accounts out. Come on, man. Just, just turn up. Man, I tell you, the, the best they can do is just sit in a high ass room all day with headphones on, listen to what we say. With a VR. Right. <laughs> sit uh, uh, on, with the vape pen. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. 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 heard his word. Y'all don't come out the same. His word is the best you can You know? That's, that's what you wish your team to doing. You know, like Russ said, live it up. So, because no matter what the fuck you do, you're not going to stop the will of the Lord. The right. Part of the will of the Lord is to take your. You ain't gonna reach the bounds you can't pass. He's gonna take you out of reach shit. No matter what the fuck your dumb ass do, man. Matter of fact, the shit you're doing, you fulfilling the will of the Lord anyway. You fucking carnal minded piece of shit. Yep, that's right, man. Oh, well, shit got more value than damn devil. Go ahead. <laughs> God. <laughs> Lamentations chapter 4, verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no longer carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Yep. Hey, the Lord is turning back our captivity That's and right. preparing the heathen for this. Just like we drunk of that cup of slavery, punishment. You now we had to go through hey, this hell. Hey, you, hey, you heathens, chiefly Esau, Edom, you finna go through it, man. So enjoy the last few days of so-called freedom before your ass get hounded up and shackled, man. That's right. Chains, man. You need to bring that out. Ezekiel 21. Yep. 26, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, remove the diadem yep. and take off the crown. Yep. This shall not be the same. And saw him that is low, the basin that is high. Who's high? We saw Edom, man. The rest of you basins, man. So what the Lord is gonna do, he's gonna put you last. 
Yahweh Shai said, many that are first shall be last, the right. last shall be first. Right. The meek shall inherit the earth. Uh -huh. And you nations, you get to go out and enjoy the earth. You get to go to Fiji and go all across and travel while the sons of living power, we locked down here. That's right. It's all good though, because it's the chastening of our nation. But guess what? The Lord is going to come deliver us, raise us up, transform us, and give us a glorious kingdom. That's right. And guess what? A kingdom needs subjects. Guess what the subjects are? You people. You know? Right. And just one more. It says, uh, verse 27, I will overturn, overturn, and overturn, and it shall be no more until he come whose right it is, and I will give it him. Yep, and the Lord is going to come and, and bring some judgment to this place, man. Yeah, how is he's going to come with that healing in his ring? <laughs> with that order and set up his kingdom. <laughs> Damn, we got the door plate. Oh, man, this shit is falling. Champagne on St. Folly today, man. What the fuck, bro? Oh, bro, all type of wickedness. Bro, bro all type. We got some fucking doors over here, bro. Shit, they so short, I can't even see them. Yeah, bro, <laughs> like he said, the stroller taller than him, man. This shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit, I can't even get them with it. They gone. He got a custom fit dwarf. Hey, somebody. Hey, don't lie, man. I'm on my Instagram. Y'all got a new trap on. What's a new one? Oh, uh, no, it's the same one. I feel it. Oh, yeah. This is a little Missy girl out of Chicago, man. She's making some bitch shit. Yeah, I'm saying it's like a midget thing. It's a couple, couple decent things. That's a defect. That's in the law. That's a defect. Yeah, that's a defect. That's in the law, bro. That's Dorothy's. Yeah, you know? Okay. Like they on top of the building. Somebody picked him up like a little baby. Yeah, man. Like, I'm going to get you something. What's this shit? Wow, man. Champagne on Folly's day. What's going on today? Dorothy. Doors walking around and shit. Yeah. Well, they yellow big brother over here. Yeah, man. Like, you know, the daughter, daughter's the eagle, man. It's what y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This is your time to reign. Come. What's what? 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 For, 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 for you Negroes, Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans, this is what the Lord told us to do. This is a. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes is also known as Sirach 11 and 21. And it reads, it says, Marvel not at the works of a sinner, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. Man, so the Lord said, man, don't marvel at these, these devil's works, man. Understand. Yeah, like you said, uh, the King David said, we see the prosperity of the wicked and greed until you understood he's there in. Yep. Uh -huh. The Lord set them in slippery places. Here it is, the Lord gave you a kingdom, but guess what? Your rulership, your blessing, it's not forever, man. That's right. It says in Daniel, in the days of the kingdom, the God of heaven shall set up a kingdom that shall stand forever, man. And that's the kingdom of Israel, man. That's right. And that comes at the end of this world, the end of Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man's rulership, man. And that's going to be an eternal kingdom, man. Check us at the beginning. But uh, it off, it says, marvel not at the works of a sinner, but trust in the Lord and abide and die labor. Right. For it is an easy thing in the Lord, sorry, in the sight of the Lord, on a sudden to make a poor man rich. And you gonna make a, you know, a poor man rich, by, you know, in the kingdom. Man. We have all, all the riches that we need, man. All the, all the benefits, even on this side, the Lord can make, you know, a rich. We need to be rich in this side. You know, the scripture is saying that it's harder for a rich man to enter into the kingdom, man. So you gotta keep in mind that, hey, the Lord, the Lord will help us. That's why I said abide and thy labor. Continue to abide, man. Continue to endure, man. Don't be, be caring about the, what's going on with these sinful people, man. They're going to get their judgment at the end. You know? yeah. Hey, this is the um, truth. What they call it, the rash to riches. And, and, and we're going to go from uh, no people, uh, from filthy masks to sackcloth to the garment of praise, the oil of joy uh, for, for mourning. Hey, man, we, hey, we, hey, we, we're, we're about to be the uh, hey, joy heirs for you.
Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 17 and verse. This is Ezekiel chapter 17 and 24. It says, And all the trees of the field shall know that I, Yahweh, have brought down the high tree. I have exalted the low tree, and the trees represent the nations. The high tree is the Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. The low tree, the humble tree, the low tree, the low people are the Israelites. So it says, And all the trees of the field shall know that I, Yahweh, have brought down the high tree, have exalted the low tree, have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree, tree to flourish. I, Yahweh, might have spoken and have done it. Where the Lord is going to exalt his people on a base on the rescue people. Right. And hey, hey, we're gonna inherit the kingdom, man. And everything that, all the goodly things that come with it, man. Things that we were robbed of and we couldn't enjoy on this side. We're gonna inherit the earth and everything else, man. Yeah. Exactly, man. And it's a beautiful thing, man. We're about to get the kingdom of heaven. Why these devils get to be on our feet? I can't wait to put these red devils on our feet. Y'all gonna get slaved, man. Get, get ready for it, man. You gonna be on a, a, a so-called black man's feet. You, you gonna bow down to us, man. That's right. That's right. That's coming to you, devil. Huh? All the wickedness y'all did, man. Y'all gonna pay for it, man. Right. For slaughtering it and lynching our people, man. And snatching our people and putting them on them ships. Yeah. Bundle what? You think you devils gonna get away with that shit? Yeah, they really believe that shit, man. They believe they believe they're on the wrong level. Our Lord set you up for no you man. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passed out and him that returned. Exactly, man. Now how about she me out shop about to put the stack down on you devil, man? All right. Because y'all got to pay, man. Hey, man, hey, 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 you know what? These devils in these cars keep riding fast. They feel it, man. They know their kingdom is done. They know we rising up, man. All right. That's why they came when they that one devil trying to speak. Man, shut up. You ain't got nothing to say, man. Your ancestors did a lot of murder, a lot of slaughter, a lot of robbery, a lot of lies. You gonna pay for that shit, man? Yeah, all the videos in the world, film, stupid ass Jesus defending you. That's not gonna stop you from the wrath of the Lord. The Lord don't give a shit about none of that, man. <laughs> all right, you know. The Lord, hey, you said quiet that with your past. Yep. Talking about that, that was you. Hey, you can't, hey, you can't run with that. Let's say it wasn't a reincarnation. What's changed about you, devil? You still the same fucking way, man. Right. Exactly. Nothing never changed. Y'all still wicked. Y'all still do weird shit. Y'all still have sex with animals. Y'all all type of wickedness, man. Y'all yeah. mess with babies. Hey, man, the Lord gonna kill y'all ass. Y'all eat people. Hey, man, all these movies, heal will have eyes. That's real true stories about you devils. Yeah. That's the type of shit y'all be on, man. And y'all think y'all righteous? Y'all think y'all love God? God don't love you. Nope. Right. He hates you. And he gonna slaughter your ass. That's right. What's got to be coming, you motherfuckers, man? Right. Yeah, they, 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 and they know the Lord don't love their ass, man. That's why they uh, go out to say, which work for the Lord any damn way. You hear that? Oh, my goodness. Look, man, look at these. Man, come on, man. I got something. Like this. Jeremiah 13 and 22. Yeah, and right. if thou say in thine heart, wherefore come these things upon me, for the greatness of thy iniquity are thy skirts discovered, and thy heels made bare. Come, man. All of this stuff, man, is going down, man. You are being made bare. Everything is being exposed. That's right. There's nothing you devils can do to hide from the judgment of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shrek. You're, you got it now. It's time for you to get your last kick, man. Right. It's time for y'all to get a rod of arm beat over y'all head. It's time for y'all to get double of, of, of your works, man. And that's a 
part of the good news, man. Hey, 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 the elder brought it up. Because you got Esau and his little wife dog trying to make up for him. You got dumb ass sell out Jason trying to stand up. But guess what? The Lord said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. Take yeah. dumb ass sell out Jacob trying to defend you. The nation that be in bed with you and all of his rocks is trying to defend you. But the Heavenly Father, he hates you. Right. And he's going to judge you. And all you nations.
you know, Dr. Umar Johnson, he was saying like, man, if you look on the internet, we went, we've been through so much shit. You look on the internet, do it look like they, that our people are oppressed? The way they be talking and, you know what I'm saying? They don't even know it. It's so spoiled. Like I said, a gift destroyed up the heart. Hey, 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 that's why the Lord go kill you know these niggas, man. Cause hey man, you niggas uh, wanna keep holding on to this goddamn devil, man. Fuck these so-called white people. They eat them up. They devils, man. And they gotta go. They going into slavery, man. It's time for their ass to go down, man. This kingdom is done. not be unpunished, that's but right. the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Come on, man, that's right, man. The same judgment that uh, you these them these devils getting, man. You follow them after their customs, you're gonna get that same righteous indignation, man. You're gonna get that same judgment that the Lord got in store for their ass, man. Probably even worse because you the Lord's children, man. You're supposed to be. Man, look. Our people gotta, our people gotta wake up, man. You know? <laughs> now, now is not the time to be, be foolish, man. Now is not the time to be deceived, man. Salvation is, is near than what we believe, man. It's the scripture prophecy. We gotta continue to, to understand what's going on around us, man. I grab it. There's Romans. There's Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation dearer than what we believe. In second after the ninth chapter, it says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right. What's the measuring uh, what is the measuring stick, the scriptures? Uh, you see? It says it's gonna be signs, tokens, 
which are signs uh, of what? The manifestation of the end of the world. All the signs are happening as the Heavenly Father um, said they would, you see? So knowing that, what manner of persons are you to be? Are you going to be seeking repentance here in these last times? Or are you going to be riding uh, or surfing over, surfing over indulging in the flesh? Or are you going to be seeking repentance? It says, verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. Right. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You see? Right. So when we trying to get um, right so we can be found uh, holy, unreprovable, unblameable, and aside of Yahweh, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. You see? Get in until it's too late, you know. To, to judgment, you know, our people always learn at the at the last end, you know. Why should why I gotta be like that, man? You know, it's because you do say in the day of that power, you know, a lot of people gonna try to, you know, get in there, you know, try to learn, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I gotta push up Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7, it says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our, and to our God for he will abundantly pardon alright yeah so the, um, let the wicked forsake his, his ways man alright cause that's the whole point alright repenting alright if you want favor in the Lord alright you have to turn from your wicked ways man that's right man you gotta, you gotta turn away man put, a, put away that old man scripture say there, there's a way that seems right into a man but in the end, there for all the ways of uh, death, man. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 12, I believe, roughly paraphrasing, but you got to continue to age. Yo, the way that you think is right, man, it ain't. That's right. You know? The flesh team, uh, let us, lead us to go on, man. You know? You know, the the fire, man, the things we see of the eye. got to put off that weak nature. Um, Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 it says there is a way which seems men but the end thereof are the ways of death that's right man many of people, it, it, that's how many of our people be led to death man believing in their own ways yep. you know Proverbs uh, 3 and 5 says trust in the this Proverbs 3 and 5 trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding that's right uh -huh. Because of what it say in Proverbs 14 and 12, man, it's a way to seem right into a man. It, it ain't right, man. None of none of the ways that we, we've been living is right. What's right is this, what we're doing right now. Speaking into the ears of our people, man, warning them. Because this devil ain't gonna give you no warning. These other nations damn sure ain't gonna give you no warning, man. Nobody is a hey, well, brother uh from up top say, hey, nobody love a prophet but a prophet, man. You gotta keep in mind that man, we be giving you love, man, for the fact that we want to see our people, hey, uprise from this, man. You know, but, hey, we, we can't help you if you don't want to help yourself. So keep in mind, man, you gotta hearken to the voice of the Lord. The second John chapter one verse six, and this is love that we walk after His commandments. This is the commandment that. As ye have heard from the beginning, you shall walk it. That's right, man. It's love when you know, uh, eat, eat pork chop. Yep. It's, it's love when you, you know, keeping the Sabbath day holy, man. Hey, not suffer and sin upon your neighbor. Huh. Romans says, uh, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Hey, this is the true love, man. Hey, we love our people, so we go out there and reprove them. Tell our women, stop shaking ass. That's right. Be faithful to your husband. Men, stop being moles. Hey, hey, follow the Lord so he can, hey, have mercy on you, not burn your ass in, man. That's right. See? Because why are people living in uh in, in, in calamity and killing and killing each other? These devils ain't doing shit with feeling they they yeah. with this, man. Hey, they paying them to promote that, man. You got the small hats that pay um to sell out Jake's to promote music that um influence Jake to murder, commit adultery, and, uh steal from one another. Uh, hey, that that's not love. That's hate. Perpetual hate, man. Late eighties, maybe. Yeah. Most Crazy bone. He spoke on it. You know, he said them damn white 
the Edomite uh, music executive. They took their ass over to California, put them in a big ass mansion. I told them, like, look, this is what you're supposed to do. If hell with that, um, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, what they call it, that, 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 and then, bro, I always bring it up, that nigga Leo Rowland, man, he went on a uh, breakfast club, and they popped his ass off. They was like, so wait a minute, you, you paying me to push this? He said, oh, I, I have to feed my family. Yeah. At the destruction of all these people, I'm talking That's about it's awesome. Jake. It's Jake that's sitting in jail because they didn't listen to some shit NBA Youngboy said, some shit Lil Wayne did, some shit Young Thug did said. But who's Hey, have you talk about those that put the bottle to his neighbor, that he may um, expose his nakedness? Yeah, it is. But hey, guess what? Yeah, feed your family. Guess what? You gonna be a, a meal for the milk. How about that? Uh -huh. Hey, the nigga. Hey, he proved the scriptures, man. Hey, he licked our swords, man. You see? But guess what? It's a recompense for all that, man. That's all right. you nations that have took advantage of the children of Israel, the apple of the Lord's eye, the Lord's jewels. Guess what? When the Lord comes back to collect them, and if a man be found in his hand, he should be put to death. That's, right. That's cool. You two thirds, man. He, he, he didn't give a fuck. He answered all that stuff. He 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 he, he, he knows that he has the power. He knows that whole radio station, he's connected with the, you know what I'm saying? He's, he, he this the king. He knows, he, he, he answers like, yeah, motherfucker. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's how he answered too. And it pissed me off. No remorse by him. No remorse. He said, fuck it. Them niggas kill themselves. That's who know. That's the scripture. That's Zachariah. Who's a precious slave and holds himself not guilty. Rough and fair, right? Yeah. He said, he'll be a not because they have seen him. So guess what? The Lord sees that you send traps. Witchcraft called Jake Gorn. So the Lord will pay the damn devil back for that. Yep. What is it? He that rolls from uh, rock up the stone and can fall back down upon him. Uh, rock up hill, rough and tear break. He there can lay snaps for the dust of the Israelites. He can strap in his hair. Guess what? The Lord will cause all that to come back upon him. He can come down upon his own face. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Yep. Now they don't even want to talk about it. Alright, you got it. You got it. You start praying the business. You need to get destroyed by his Yep. yep. Prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom. You know? Uh, you the Bible, no, not necessarily, the but uh, I'm not against it either. Yeah. Especially if you're involved. Oh, yeah. You're one of my good people right here. Oh, yeah. yeah, enjoy. Yeah. Spread the good word. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's good news to us is bad news to them. Of course it's going to sound bad. He's at home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that means he's gonna be your slave. Yeah. 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 Hey, hard, you might put him in a little position. Yeah, yeah. For real? Damn. Yeah. What? Yeah. He gotta be benching. Shorty must have a super shot. Hey, go ahead. It's up. Colossians chapter 3 verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect to persons. Yep. Yeah, man. You know, the devil gonna, the devil gonna get, get paid back for all the wickedness that he's done, man. Yep. Though he feel like he might have got away, you know, many many of these damn devils do feel like they done got away with some shit. That's why they look the way they look, you know, and act the way they act. Yeah. Hey. Because the scripture say because sentence against the evil work not executed speedily, they send them to do evil. That's right. They man. really believe, Lord got them deceived, thinking they did get away with something. 
Yeah, it's okay because guess what, man? Ain't nothing better than the what is it? The, uh, the ultimate of surprise. It's like the element of surprise. The element of surprise. Yeah. But uh, the element of surprise, man, it's gonna be beautiful seeing y'all ass shook. You know, better, better, better coming. Yeah. And that second edge is thirteen. It says, "Yeah, I wish I he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth." Yeah. Hey, hey, all the unbelievers. All the people that think he a so-called white man, hey, Yahweh is gonna come back and he's gonna gather a uh, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. Uh Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter, man. And uh, they should be uh, amazing and strange of these salvation, man. Oh, these are these are the Israelites, the guys that we oppressed? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we Negroes, Latinos, and we so-called Native Americans, because this is who we speaking to, man. We don't, we don't care about these, these other nations, man. We don't care about these devils, man. We really speaking to the voice of our people, man. To the ears of our people. So our people. So. It was um, Ruth, chapter 4, verse 25. Yep. It says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you yep. from Yahweh, for thy enemy has persecuted thee. But surely thou shalt see his destruction. The scripture right. say, those who are in trouble rest with us, man. And what? His knowledge. Hey, understand that why we went through what we went through. And understand that, hey, ultimately the Lord is going to uh, come and heal us. Set us up from his lowest state. But now we got to wait until the Lord comes back. Why? It says, um, surely thou shalt see his destruction and, and shall tread upon his neck. A recompense. Hey, the Lord is going to come with true uh, reparations, the, the true repairing. Here it is, you didn't destroy the children of Israel, you didn't put us at the bottom, you financially and socially excluded us from your world. But guess what? It's all good. The Lord will come and set us up and bring you down. Right. He's gonna come and put crowns on us and chains on you. That's right, you see? And then the people shall uh, look at them like uh this is a couple words I'm gonna start at. It's uh Isaiah 4, son of morning, art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will also sit in the congregation in the sides of the north. I will, uh, I will ascend the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. Yet, you got to fuck it. That's what these devils try to do, man. That's what these devils believe they doing, man. They think they as you. How about Shimei was trying, man? He's going to be in the heavens. He's going to go to the bottom of the uh, Mind. You know, you just try to uh, lay claim on the Lord's people, right? But hey, your your downfall is in the scriptures, man. Yeah, hey, 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 the heavenly Father is going to show you that you are not God. Right? Uh, verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Yep. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee. See, is this the man that hath made the earth and temple, right. that did shake kingdoms? Right, you was once the untouchable white man. You know, he used to walk around with the shades on all cool and shit, niggas was fine. Right. But now yeah. the Lord has brought you down, man. He exposed you, he shamed you. The prophet that, hey, that stood up, rebuked you, right. you know, showed you, and uh, showed you what you truly was, man. And all these nations see that you are nothing but a uh, base man. Right. Especially in that day when the Lord knocked you out of power. You know what y'all, he said, I still say you fall as lightly. You see? Yeah. Well, he says in uh, Revelation 7, Power was given to be able to take these from the earth. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Power away. Look at every way check, man, at first. Gotta get that title. Knockout came to America, if you put the man, homie, fuck happened with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people gonna be like, man. Go be like, this is this. Nope. Because overall, these devil ain't shit, man. You see it. They all on the street corner. Uh, not, not profit sign, but they on the street corner asking dollars and money and shit, yes. you know, they make homeless, they vagabond. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Golden City is ceasing, man. Ceasing. And you got these states through, and, and their future generation, their posterity, they mowed out, they depressed out, they they, they fat, man. They, they, they completely through, man. California. Mm -hmm. But you might, I say you might just be homeless, man. Living in tents. Yep. And that's supposed to be the, the fucking uh, 
that's what the LA It's like it's doctors and shit going, they going to work and then coming home to a tent. A doctor, good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, crazy. How about you? 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 He said, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. Right. And he saw it destroy cities, destroy nations then. All right, it says, that opened not the house of his prisoners. And the prisoners are in the Right. Right. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8 For thus said the Lord of hosts after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations with spoils you for he that touches you touches the apple of his eye Ah right, man you touch the apple of the Lord's eye which is the Israelites so called Negroes, Latinos and the Native Americans and the speckled birds that look like you are other nations right. you know and now you gotta pay man everybody is mad at you devil, because y'all didn't show no mercy Y'all didn't, didn't give us no compassion. You hurt the young ones and the old. Y'all yep. did all type of atrocities. You fed our children to alligators for your alligator shoes. Right. You know? You fed God, you you, you uh, cut our women's stomach open and stump the babies or, and put it back in the woman's stomach just to see what it'll do. You know? You did all type of wickedness to our people, man. You know? You didn't show no mercy. Cut off the man's rod. You did all type of shit. You think you devils got a free ticket out of here? Hell no. Judge me coming to y'all. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him be. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. His own son didn't get away with his wickedness when he was Solomon. Yeah. So what makes you damn devil think you will get away with anything? He ain't dealing with your ass. Right. Exactly, man. How about Shimon El Shah punished us? Hey, man, our whole nation went into slavery. We lost our heritage, all of that. Hey, how about Shimon El Shah gonna put judgment on you damn devils, man? You know, your whole nation gotta pay. Right. It's, it's always the individual when you come out of them. But he don't have no problem with group in the category though. Yeah. Yeah. It's Jeremiah 49 and verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Art thou he that shall not go, that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. And that's that cup of slavery, man. Here it is. He's some process, but he's some he's the man that it did the work. And Jeremiah 51, right? It says, uh, if I grab really quick, it says, uh, Jeremiah 51 and 11, because you were glad, because you rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fed as the heifer and, and grass and bellow as bulls, point being that the destroyers of the Lord's heritage. Here it is, you touched the apple of the Lord's eye, you thought you were going to get away with it? Here it is, in this world, you got an idea, you got a, um, you got a saying, what goes around comes around. That, that, uh, that applies to everything except for what happened to our people. But it's all good because the Heavenly Father required that which is past. They who wanted to be the Lord without at all acquit the wicked. You're going to pay for what you've done. It's uh, Psalms. Psalms 149 and 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Yep. Yeah, man. To execute. The Lord about to put these chains on y'all there. Y'all going into slavery on chains. I wish I had But yeah, man. Y'all going into slavery on new chains, man. You know? Y'all about you, man. I was trying to deal with y'all ass, man. That's right. That's how y'all going into the kingdom of heaven. You're going to go to the kingdom of heaven with a hardcore punishment. 
Okay, right, and talk to her, I said, hey, you some of the uh, Bible uh, uh, scholar, cut the hell out of the scripture. She's like, man, I hope I see you in heaven. Like, your dream gonna come true, but I'm gonna have that whip. Uh, it says to execute upon them the judgment written, you know? His honor have always saints to praise thee the Lord. You know? That Revelation 13, it says here's the faith and the patience of the saints. The saints are the Israelites. That's what we're looking forward to. The day that our enemies hey, get put in fucking chains, man. And get put beneath us, man. That's right. Before that they come, man, we got to make sure we, we will put together and, and did everything we supposed to do on our part, man. That's right. Yeah, man, we very much looking for this kingdom to fall, but what does that day uh, lie for you? You know, the scripture, uh, you know, roughly paraphrases. You know, what that, what that day has in store for you, man? What you should be really keeping in, 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 your, in, your, in your mental, man, in your mindset, you know, in your walk. Yeah, man, you gotta stay on, you gotta stay on your P's and Q's if you wanna get that, man. And the Lord said He'll give us a hundredfold if we keep continuing this. Right. We have to follow after this. Right. Psalms chapter seventy-five, verse eight: For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red; yep. it is full of mixture, and He poureth out of the same. But the dregs, therefore, thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Exactly, man. So, yeah, man. Hey, you help us, she said, he's going to get our, our enemies in our hand. No, because we on point doing this. We go, hey, man, we're going to wring them, motherfuckers, man. These damn devils, man. They're going to they get the rest of the glory, man. They're going to they drink every drink, man. Every, every drink of that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. You, you get the dregs of the wine, man. That's the very bottom of it. man. He gonna come back. He gonna hear the war of his voice, man. He gonna shake the earth. How loud Yahweh Shah gonna be screaming when he come back, man. You know, everybody gonna be in, in their boots. Wait, he said, hey, get the heavy knee Shabal. Hey, man, that's gonna happen, man. Now, Bashim Al Shah ain't gonna play with nobody out here, man. When he return. So, hey, man, we wanna be on the right side of him. We want to be in his good faith with you, how we watch us up. Seek your creator in thy youth, uh, scripture say, man. Seek your man, man. Philippians 2, verse, chapter 2, verse 10. And that the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of those in heaven, and those on earth, and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord. To the glory of Yahweh the Father. Exactly, man. All of you going to bow down. Right. Y'all going to know who the king of the earth is, man. How about how about Shimei was shining playing with you people, man? Y'all going to be afraid. And even the ones that pierced them, man, I'm going to get that. This is Revelation. Oh, you got to go on. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also was pierced them. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Mm. Even so our mind. Right. Call it, man. Y'all gonna be afraid when Yahweh Shah come, man. He be, be coming on them um, chariots, man. What y'all call UFOs. And he coming on the father ship. And he gonna have this place shook. Right. Hey, that's where they get the movie Independence Day from. Yep. Exactly out of the scriptures, man. And Yahweh Shah is not gonna play. He's gonna be a so-called black man. Right. 
You ain't gonna beat who y'all call J-U-S-S. Second Edges chapter 13, verse 3. And behold, and behold, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. And that's a uh, vision that the prophet Ezra received. Like uh, Yahweh Shah, when he comes back, man, um, John the Revelator, he had received the, um, the similar vision. You know, he's seen that war in heaven. Uh, Revelator, uh, it's like the second edge of 13, give a vivid description of it. Watch Independence Day. Verse 4, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, mm -hmm. like as the earth felleth when he filleth the fire. Mm -hmm. And after this I beheld, and lo, there were gathered together a multitude of men out of uh, Salakia, out of number from the four winds of heaven, yep. to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Mm -hmm. Who was that that came out of the sea? All right, Genesis uh, 1 and 6. All right, the Shemite, you know, Shai Shai came out of the cloud. Verse 6, but I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or the place where I, he, uh, the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet there's fight. Hey, because the Lord, just like Pharaoh, the Lord's gonna harden their heart, because Pharaoh was afraid. You tell Israel, y'all can get the fuck up out of here, but the Lord hardened his heart. And these states, you don't think these states are gonna be afraid? Hey, when, he, when the Americans get destroyed, there's gonna be a royal rumble for who, uh, to see who's the new king. Uh, and Yahweh Shai is gonna come in and, and submit all of them. That's why I say he had many crowns upon his head. All right, keep going. Right. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held his sword, nor an instrument of war. But only I saw that he said out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. Well, yeah, I was shot, don't gotta come visit me. Beat these niggas down with a sword, man. All right, he gonna rain that fire down. And out of his lips, a flaming breath. And out of his tongue, he cast out sparks and tempests. Yeah, that's that concentrated fire. Verse 11, and they were all mixed together in a blast of fire, the flaming breath and great tempest, and fell with the violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up everyone, so that upon the sudden of the innu uh, innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and the smell of smoke. And that's the fate, that's like, that's the fate of all you, uh, all you niggas that's over there in the army, man. And the Lord is gonna gather all these nations in their armies and burn them over in the Middle East, man. From a hey, being that judgment, you know? When I saw this, I was afraid. Hey, Ezra, he seen this vision and he was afraid, man. Hey, Habakkuk said, hey, I wouldn't be hid in the day of wrath. Roughly paraphrasing. He said, hey, the day of the Lord is a day of holiness, man. Holiness, holiness. Uh, verse 12. Afterward, I saw the same man come down from the mountain and called unto him another peaceable multitude. And there came much people unto him, whereof some were glad, some were sorry, and some of them were bound, and others some brought of them that were uh, offered. Then was I sick through great fear, and awakened and said, Thou hast sold thy servant these wonders from the beginning, and hast counted them, uh, counted me worthy that thou shouldest receive my prayer. And said, So me now get the interpretation of this dream. For as I was conceived, for as I was conceived in my understanding, 
Woe to them that shall be left in those days, and much more woe to them that are not left behind. For they that were not left were in heaven. Verse 18, it says, Now understand, hide the things that were laid up in the latter days, which shall happen unto them and to those that are left behind. This Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10, it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, that the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Alright, because the Lord said that angel, the angel said I'm your brother, don't bow down. It says, and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. It says, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. It says, verse 14, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. I mean, that's, the, that's the angels and the elect. You know, it says that the, the, the dead of Hamashiach shall arise first. All right, and we, if we die in this truth, man, the Lord got a body waiting on us. That's right. The chariot's coming too. Uh, now, uh, Lord of hosts. It says, verse 15, And out of his mouth go up a sharp sword, that with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of the almighty power. That sounds like captivity to me. That sounds like slavery. It says, and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, Kings of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, Come, it's like he's saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together until the, the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and of them both free and bond, both small and great. So why did they say that? There's going to be so much dead bodies. All right, all the fowls, you got the vultures, the crows, the ravens, they're going to be eating these bodies. And who, who's going to bury them? Verse. The Revelation 19 and 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Yep, and that's Esau that deceived the nation. All right, and everybody who followed him to take the, the 
that MOTV is going to be burned up with you. Verse 21, and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, with sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all of the fowls were filled with their flesh. And that's what's, that's what, that's the end goal, man. That's the, that's the end goal of this, man. The Heavenly Father sends his son back. Isaiah 19 is going to send him a, a redeemer, a, a savior, a great one, and he shall save them. The Lord is going to save his people and, dis, and, and judge these nations, destroy their armies, and reign supreme on the earth. That's right. You know? And his elect is going to be into the chariot. We're going to be changed, transformed in the twinkling of an eye. Then we're going to come down on the earth and Wickedness. 
You know, y'all gonna get burnt up. Y'all gonna get judged. Right. Y'all gonna get death by pain. That's what y'all gonna get, man. That's a lot of rice, man. We want it all too, and man. We gonna be catching that spiritual fire, like we gonna catch that physical fire. That's right. Exactly, man. And, and, and man, it's a and your how about she now shot love his soul, man. It's a righteous thing, man. When you how about she now shot to recompense tribulations to them that trouble you. That means get revenge on our enemies. That's right, right. And we will get revenge. Actually, they're gonna bow down to us, and we're gonna end it with that scripture, man. That's right. Somebody get Isaiah 49 and start at like 22. Cause hey man, we gonna put our foot on, on these people's heads, man. That's right. They're gonna kiss our feet in that day, man. That's right. They're gonna wish they never touched the children of Israel. That's right. This Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 22, thus said Yahweh power, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Exactly, man. And we ain't gonna be ashamed to wait on Yahweh by Shimei Shot. Because guess what, man? All our enemies gonna bow down. And we gonna take their women and carry it on our shoulders, man. We taking this place down, man. With the power of Yahweh by Shimei Shot. It That's says right. the kingdom, it says the saints should take the kingdom, man. Forever and possess it forever, even forever, man. So that's what's going on. And our enemies gonna suffer. And you two thirds that wanna love these so-called white people, these devils, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you gonna die with them. So with that, we gonna give all praise and glory honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, we're the dust. Double honor to our bosses and elders of GMF and brothers that sincerely go in this work and the few sisters that are listening and learning and being obedient to their others. Keep pushing and doing the work. Shalom on Barack the Dumb and above the ball. Above the ball. Let the star let that brother speak more too, man. Yeah, you sure? Con, brother, you did a good job with that speaking too.